We just got home from an 18 day trip and now I'm expected to adult and just dive right back into my routines and work schedule. Oh. Okay, some of these tips I'm gonna share with you, you're going to do before you leave and while you're away. So if you have time before you leave, do some things that when you come home that are just going to make your life easier because you know you're gonna hit the ground running once you walk through that door. Yeah, the biggest favor I did for myself was have my whole house clean before we left. Are you like this where before you leave for a trip, you have to have your house perfect so that way when you come home, it's just like, ah. <sighs> I can't sleep before flight, you guys. I just can't. So I like cleaned my house before we left. In fact, the video that I made for you about getting our kitchens ready for the holidays, yeah, I did that the night before we left. I didn't go to bed. So I was like, I need to get my kitchen ready for the holidays because when I come home after the Thanksgiving break, I'm jumping right into Christmas. So if you have time before you leave, do some things that when you come home that are just going to make your life easier. One thing that helps me get back into the swing of things is my routine so I love my morning routine and it just gets things moving so in my morning routine I start off with a load of laundry and then I think about dinner that night and then I have empty the dishwasher I check my planner every morning you'll be surprised what I think I know is happening that day and then I'll go to my appointment that day and they're like oh we don't see you till tomorrow believe me I've done it Every morning, if I think I know my daily schedule or not, I check my planner. Another thing that I do in my morning routine is I take my vitamins, my medicine, my supplements to help me get going for the day. I'd like to thank Mary Ruth's Organic for sponsoring today's video. I've been taking Mary Ruth's vitamins and supplements for over a year now. And to say that I love them is pretty much an understatement. <laughs> so if you're not familiar, Mary Ruth's Organics was created back in 2014 by Mary Ruth, and she's a certified health educator, a nutrition consultant, and a culinary chef. She was really inspired to help others live a healthier life after her father and brother passed away from heart conditions. They make high quality, vegan, non-GMO supplements, and most of their products are certified organic too. So many of Mary Ruth's products can be used by the whole family. There's so many options for you, pill, gummy, and in liquid form. A lot of these liquid supplements you can add straight to your juice, water, smoothies, or just dropping them into your mouth. Yum. And a lot of their products are liquid supplements, which are great because it adds to easier digestion. What started this journey for me was the liquid morning multivitamin. It's vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, sugar-free, and the raspberry flavor is so good. It is packed with minerals, amino acids. So I stored it in my refrigerator along with all my other supplements. So since I couldn't pack this on our trip, I made sure I had some of the organic women's multivitamin gummies. And they're sugar-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. It contains 10 essential vitamins and nutrients. And it's so easy for my teenage daughter to take in the morning as she goes out the door. This strawberry flavor is so good. For the men in my home, I have Mary Ruth's men's multivitamin gummies. The flavor we have is cherry and raspberry. And it's also sugar-free, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, soy-free, no MSG, and dairy-free. So with all the traveling that we've been doing and coming back to snowy weather, I want to protect our immune systems. So new to my Mary Ruth collection is the immunity gummies. This can be taken by the whole family. It's sugar-free. It has a powerful blend of immune supporting vitamins and herbs such as zinc, elderberry, vitamin C and D, and Inconisha. And it could be taken by adults and children. And it has a yummy raspberry lemonade flavor. These taste so good. All of these gummies are so easy to take in the morning. And their kids' multivitamin gummy is a number one bestseller. You should check out their full line. They have over 130 products. Right now, Mary Ruth's is having a limited time flash sale. So when you click the link in my description box, and if you use my code MROAPRON25, you'll receive 25% off on all Mary Ruth's products. The code works both on the Mary Ruth website or on Amazon. On Amazon, make sure you're buying products sold by Mary Ruth Organics and not a third party or else my code won't work. Seriously friends, I am so happy with them and they really have become part of my morning and daily routine. Thank you again for Mary Ruth for sponsoring today's video. So I'm gonna share some tips with you on how to ease back into a routine. I decided to slowly ease into my work week. The biggest thing I could say to you is to take it slow. Okay, let me just tell you, saying that coming from me is hard because I have ADHD. So I'm already like on 10 things a mile down the road. 
So to take it slow is like, what? Like I'm already like at point Z. What are you talking about? But we need to take it slow because we do get so overwhelmed with everything that we have to do to get going again. I felt like it took three days on our vacation to finally like, <sighs> and unwind and enjoy myself. And it could take you another three days to get your motor going again, to get moving, to get that momentum, to push you to keep going. What does slow mean? What I'm saying by slow is let's cut out the noise, brain dump, make a to-do list. Start with the tasks that are gonna take the least amount of time. We all know what our big to-dos are. Like when I was on the plane, I was thinking of the small things first. When I get home, what are the, the easiest things that I can do that will get the momentum going and not stress me out? One task that gives me a lot of motivation is sorting through the mail. So I make piles for file, shred, and throw away. Depending how cold it is outside and what time of the year it is, open a window, let in some fresh air. I knew the biggest task when I got home was going to be the laundry. I mean, we had four suitcases, four suitcases full of clothes. So what I did on our trip before we came home was I did the laundry. That way, when we came home, all we had to do was just take the clothes out of our suitcase and slide them back into our drawers or hang them back up into our closets. Doing this cut that stress out when we got home because usually when we come home, the suitcases roll right over to the laundry room and you just see this pile up and it just stresses you out. So before we left on our vacation, I made sure that we were caught up on all our laundry. I attacked that before we left. All towels were clean and folded, put away, ready for us. Blankets were put away, all the clothes. Nothing was waiting for me to do when I got home. So just by doing that and not adding on when we got home was just a nice stress release. One way to make things really less stressful is to have a buffer day. So instead of us coming home on Sunday like we did, we could have come home on Saturday. So that way we had Sunday to unpack, do laundry, sort through the mail, meal plan, maybe order groceries and then just relax on that day. That way we could hit the ground running on Monday. So the big thing I try to encourage myself because I'm bad at this one, get everything out of your suitcase, put your clean clothes back into your drawers, hang them up and let's get that suitcase put away. There's times where it takes me a good week to put my suitcase away. We seem to live in that suitcase for a few days and it just creates clutter and creates stress. Yeah, there's times I, I end up doing that, I'll admit. What I like to have is some freezer meals ready for me for when we come home. That way the next day after your trip and you have to make dinner and you go to your refrigerator and it is bare, <laughs> or your pantry's bare. That way the next day when you're tired and you just don't feel like jumping up and get dinner going, you already have one in your freezer waiting for you. So all you have to do is pop it in the oven or throw it in your slow cooker and you're good to go. We have a six month food storage. So I have lots of meals that are shelf stable ready to go for us. We got home about 9 p.m. So the next day was a Monday when we were hitting the ground running with school and all our work to do's. I didn't have to stress about making dinner. So instead of pulling one out of my freezer, I made minestrone soup. Talk about easy. I went into my freezer and I grabbed a pound of ground beef. All I did was just saute that up with some onions and I dumped in cans of kidney beans and great northern beans and stewed tomatoes and I and and green beans and what else do I put in my minestrone soup? I just dumped it all in and then threw some pasta in and we had a yummy warm minestrone soup the next day. So what can you do for your next dinner when you come back? That'll be so easy and stress-free for you. The next thing we need to do when we come home from vacation is refill our refrigerator. Here's some things you could do. You can either go online, place a grocery delivery, or a grocery pickup. Sometimes we're just a little too tired to go grocery shopping, right? We don't want to do the walking and, and just all, you know, ugh, grocery shopping can be tiring, right? Either way, you're going to be one step ahead, ready to go for the week. And if you don't want to do a big grocery shopping trip, that's fine. Make a quick trip just to get the essentials, like milk, bread, some fresh produce. We got home on Sunday night. I didn't go grocery shopping until Tuesday. Monday was slowly getting back into routines. What is my priority for the week? I went over my calendar in my planner, and I was like, all right, what does my week look like? What appointments do we have? What do we have going on? So I decided that on Tuesday, since I was heading down south uh, for a nail appointment, 
that that's the day that I was gonna go grocery shopping. So Monday, when we were home and I made the minestrone soup, we were getting back in routine, I could see in my refrigerator that, well, we had no vegetables. So I was able to make my grocery list without like rushing and thinking too hard. So then, then that next day on Tuesday, I went grocery shopping. And I had the energy to be in the stores. And I needed the energy because I decided to go to Costco and Sam's Club and then I made a pit stop to Walmart. And that's it, it's just an easy way to get back into the flow of things. Don't forget to check out Mary Ruth Organics on their website or on Amazon. And if you use my code MROAPRON25, you'll get that 25% off the products. And if you need more motivation to get going into your routines, check out this video right here. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon, bye.